Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction on our brand new micro SD card preloaded with thousands of retro games. Um, it's version 3.0. You can use it on a Pi 3 or 3B Plus. Uh, right here is a Raspberry Pi model 3B Plus. You can just plug the card in. Yep, yeah, and boot your own retro Pi. Or you can use it on a retro game console based on the RetroPie. Um, here is the NES console based on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. We're going to use it for introduction later. Let's now plug it in. Yeah. And turn the power on. Okay, uh, here we are at the main interface. Um, instead of using emulation station in the previous versions, uh, this time we use a different emulator. It's called Batosora. It has a much quicker loading speed and a brand new user interface. Um, here, uh, as you roll, the games are sorted by console type. We have the games from almost 20 different types of consoles. Um, we can see the picture of the console at the top and the information of this folder at the bottom contains um, how many time, how many games under this folder, how many favorites you added, etc. I'll, I'll do a quick browse for these folders. Um, here is a Sega consoles. Okay, inside the option folder, you can, have, you can find the QR codes for um, video instructions or tech support, also to unlock the bonus games. Um, here as a system information, you can see that the version 3.0 here. And also we have some special collections, game collections this time. Uh, for example, four players for multiple players to enjoy. And arcade games favorites, light gun games, and last played, so on. Okay, let's enter, oh, and also in the library folders, you see, there is a user menu for your reference, let's check. Right, here is the um, official menu that also comes with the box, inside the boxes of the SD card. Um, there's a how to build up your Raspberry Pi, um, the power shutdown, safe shutdown, controller configuration, controller configuration, uh, hotkey instructions, and how to do troubleshooting on the menu. And let's enter NES folders, for example. Okay, you can see for every game, um, it has a cover that contains the 3D box, the wheel, the screenshot of the original game and also on the right side of the screen you can see there is a preview video and also the game's metadata um, on the edge of the screen there's a star rating and how many players this game supports and also if the lo little bookmark is brightened it means you can refer to the original menu of this game I'll show you that later okay now let's go through with the um, button instructions and can refer to the, um, you can look at the bottom of the screen. Oh, let's press select to bring up the option menu. Here you can filter games by text, or you can do a quick jump to letter for a quick locating, or select random game. Also you can change how the game is sorted by default, it's by file name. You can change it to uh, release year system, or rating, how many times you played, etc. And also, you can change the game list view style. Uh, let's say, if, let's say if you do do not like so many pictures inside the game list, you can change it to detailed. Yeah, the then the list will become a plain text list, but the preview video and the metadata is still on the right. Okay, let's go back to set it back to default. 
Okay, next press start to bring up the main menu. Uh, in, in this menu, you can change game settings, controller settings, UI settings, also sound settings. I'd like to point out this time, in this version, you can um, turn on or turn off the BGM here. Yeah, you can disable the front end music if you do not like the music. And of course, you can adjust the um, volume of the mu music or the um, system volume here. Okay, next, next we go to the um, function of button A, B, X, and Y. As you can see for button A, X, Y, they all have um, two different functions, which determine by whether you press it or hold it. Okay, let's um, take Y first. If you hold the button Y, yeah, it will go to a random game inside this folder. Okay, that's holding button Y. If you press button Y, it will bring up the filtered window. Then you can type in the game you want to search. Let's take Contra for example. Yeah, after you finish typing, press start. And oh, and also you can refer to the instructions on the bottom of the screen when you add the window. Yeah, press start, go to Contra. It will search all the contrasts under this folder out. Okay, let's um, reset the search window. Yeah, control here. Um, next, for button X, if you press button X, it will bring up the save snapshots menu. Um, in this version, we have an um, auto save function for every game. Um, if you want to use this auto save function, and you have to enter by this choice, start auto save. Um, when you quit the game, it will automatically save the data and a snapshot where you left the game. So the next time you can start it there. I'll show you that later. Okay, um, if you hold pr button X, you will add the game to your favorites. You can hold it until the yeah, here, notifications uh, showed on the bottom, uh, the uh, top of the screen. You have uh, added the contra to your favorites. Um, and as you can find out, um, if you add certain games to your favorites, um, we'll move from where it was to the front of the list inside the folder. And also we have a, sp we have a collection menu here. It's called, yeah, favorites. Uh, as you can see, I just added Contra to the favorites. Um, that's um, for you to easy to find next time here. Okay, let's go back. Okay, let's back here. Um, if you want to remove the favorites, also you, you do the same. Press, uh, sorry, holding button X. You can you have removed the contra from favorites, and the contra will go back to where it was. Okay. Um, next for button A, uh, press press A to launch the game. Then hold the button A. Yeah, let's enter the game. Quick, turn around. Okay, let's stop here. Um, if you want to quit, quit the game, you press select and start twice. Yeah, you can bring up the game option menu. Here you can see the view game menu, like I said. 
Let's enter it. Yeah, um, you can see here. That's the genuine original menu of the Contra. <laughs> you can also see the smudge on it. Pretty cool, right, huh? Okay, um, let's um, enter the game. I'll show you the auto fun auto save function. Press A to launch and select start auto save. Then we will go back to the game list. Okay, now you press button A again. Yeah, right here you can see the auto save function has automatically saved the game data, and also the snapshot where when you quit the game last time. Yeah, um, if you want to resume the from here, you can go enter from auto save. It's like um, a checkpoint function. If you want to start a new game, you just choose this one. Uh, there's also another function I like to point out, the similar search function. Yes, you um, hold button A to bring up the game option menu. You can find it here, find similar games. Yeah, and then you can see all the different editions of Contra or from the different platforms will be, sh will be selected out here. That's a quite convenient function for you to select um, similar games at one time. If you want to exit this similar f uh, finding list, you just press B to go to the former menu here. Yeah, that's quite convenient. Um, okay, um, I think that's almost, that's it for the uh, brief introduction video. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you next time.